Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I make my blueberry crepes. Um, I also love apple filling in these, but these ones are blueberry. They're really, really, really easy, and they are so good. Actually, this is, I think, the thing that I make that Candace loves the most. But Megan requested this video, so here it is. All right, the first thing I do is make my filling, and I love the blueberry filling. So what I'm going to do is just add some frozen blueberries, and I go out of my way to get the frozen blueberries over the... Um, fresh just because I think it makes a better sauce so I'll show you how I do that here. I start my sauce first that has lots of time to cook and I'm going to add eh, however many blueberries you want really just to a um, small saucepan put it on medium low heat and honestly just leave it so now I'm going to start on my batter. All right, For my crepe batter I have two beaten eggs I'm going to do a cup and a half of milk, a tablespoon of oil, mix it really quick, one second baby, and um, a cup of flour. And I'm just going to mix this together until it's no longer lumpy. Alright, my helper is doing this. <laughs> it's a little erratic, but it actually gets the job done. So you just keep mixing until all the lumps are gone. Alright, well my helper mix, I'm going to check my blueberries. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but frozen tends to work better. I actually go out of my way to get frozen blueberries. Yeah, those are blueberries. So again, I'm just going to let them keep, uh, keep cooking down. Alright, it's smooth, so I've got my pan heating up. I'd highly recommend like a non-stick pan. This pan has seen a better life. But, um, and this is just my, my skillet and I'm going to use it and you know, need some cooking spray and As we'll you start can see here. I have my first one on. Put down the second one. And then I just kind of smooth it out. A round um, pan on the a round nonstick pan on your stovetop works great. However, I like to do two at once just because um, I don't have that much time. So I'm gonna let these cook for just a second. This one's already about halfway done. You can kind of see the I don't know if you can see it, but the color difference. I'm going to flip them here in just a second. I've got my plate ready with my napkin. I do not ever use paper napkins or paper towels. However, this is my one exception. Um, so I've laid out a napkin, and I use it three times per napkin. <laughs> um, but I'm going to lay the corner down right here. I've got my napkin opened up, and this is where my crepes are going to go. All right, time to flip. It's only been on for a minute or so. You can see there's very little color to it. Whoa. Are perfect. So, um, let these finish for just another, like, I don't know, about, I don't know, 10 seconds, and now I'm going to put them on my paper towel. Alright, so here's how I stack them in my paper towel. I've got paper towel, crepe, paper towel, I just folded it over, crepe, fold it, you can stink another one in there, and, um, yeah, check in back on the blueberries. You can see that it's starting to slowly simmer there in the bottom. Just gonna give it another little stir. Ooh. You're basically just trying to cook them down, let them release all their juices, start breaking up a little bit. So Mommy, we're getting there. Yeah, all right. So the sauce has been cooking for a little while now, and here is the only thing I add to the blueberries: a little bit of cornstarch. So just throw in a little bit of cornstarch, stir it around, and the sauce will start to thicken up. All right, I've got about a dozen stacked up here, and I've got about four more napkins to make. All right, crepes are done. I only used four napkins. I swear I wasn't wasteful. And here is the sauce. It is done. So if you want it thicker, you can simmer it longer. If you want it thinner, don't put as much cornstarch in there. And now time to... All right, so here's the yummy part. I've got the crepe and the blueberry. Add the blueberry to the crepe. A little down the middle. And then, I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but I can hardly pour one-handed. Alright. Oh, okay. Yay, it worked. <coughs> Alright, so you got my first crepe rolled up. Let's see, a little pouring, pouring accident. Alright, now that I've got them all rolled up, I'm going to add some whipped cream and powdered sugar. Alright, here's the finished product. I sprinkled some powdered sugar on top, some whipped cream, and they are ready to go.